North America, the third largest continent, and gives world title order for the muscle beast. There are many dangerous animals that are easily able to kill a human. From the, from the face of America to an aggressive bear to the largest predatory fish to ever live. This is 72 dangerous animals in North America. That's the last, that's the last time. I, no, actually the finals. Also guys, today I did announce that other stuff. I just got this, vi I just post this video on YouTube. I was not, I just want to say something. Out of the two that I posted, I prefer Africa. Uh, I mean, I, at some points I didn't really enjoy it. And I figured we're close to it. I really, like, really don't want to start, like, on some later date. Like, North Hour playing it on an early date. So, just a few quick announcements. 72 Dangerous Animals, Our Planet. Episode 1's gonna be dropping around November. Like, around the end of November. I'm not, I'm not gonna confirm if, like, what exact day it is. But the trailer is gonna come out pretty soon. In fact, I'm gonna start working on the trailer right after this video is done. So anyways, that's it, and I hope you all enjoyed. Last time, the poison dart frog shot right through its, the lineup. But who's next? Only six animals remained in our competition. A fly who puts its eggs in your skin clashes up right up, clashes right up against the killer whales. Venomous snakes take on one of North America's largest river predators, deadly disease carriers, and more. And 72 dangerous animals, North America. America. The killer whale is the largest animal in this entire list. Maybe it should have been in the class of Titans, maybe not. Who knows? These predators can get around three, around three ton. At the maximum weight, killer whales can get around eight tons. That's heavier than elephants. They're one of the apex. They are the apex predator in their area and are spread all over North America's oceans. Killer whales are much more dangerous than you think. Some killer whales are actually teaching younger, some old killer whales are starting to teach younger killer whales how to sink boats. Because one killer whale got a little too close and that's kind of why the killer whale won the last episode 11 of 72 Dangerous Animals Africa. These predators are extremely dangerous and are one of the apex are the apex predator and where they live. They hunt every animal that they can get. The reason why mo most of the time they don't commonly attack humans, except for vengeance, is due to the fact that they really need fat meals. Like, really fat meals to, to keep them going. That's why killer whales will kill Whales, regular whales, for their tongues, he's only their tongues, gross. And sharks, great whites, to only eat their livers. In fact, that's what actually is, actually is happening in Africa. Two kill whales with, 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 with the unknown reason why they're a flipper. Their top, their doors open is like in that weird shape. Only really you can find that in cat captivity. Are ripping out livers of sharks. So yeah. 
These predators could easily one shot a human. Almost, if you were in the wrong area at the wrong time, you would be doomed. The kill whale takes first place. How does it fare against a fly that bit, that le puts its eggs in your skin? Bot flies are really small flies, around the same size of mosquitoes. These flies can only get around feet, like half in, a third of an inch long, and like one ounce. These predators are spread all over Central and South America, actually starting to find their way in Florida. And, or one, and are actually much more dangerous than you actually subs suspect. Bot flies are actually much more dangerous than you think. You think it's just a regular fly. You can be kill it with a newspaper or a swatter. Which barely works for me. Unless if you have like lightning fast aiming. Lightning fast and good aim. And can kill them. Bot flies actually use mosquitoes to trend. Their larva. Their larva will dig into your flesh and suck blood. Actually, they eat the meat preferably. And they also can carry dangerous bacteria that has been known to kill humans. That's why bot flies are extremely dangerous. The best thing you can do to get rid of a bot fly larva is simple. First, you is as it's basically the same thing you would need to do to remove a tick if it bit you. A tick bit me this week. Didn't really like it. So here's how this would happen. First, the bot fly would find a mosquito looking for some food. Then it would attack and lay its eggs on the mosquito. Disgusting. Once the mosquito lands on the human and sucks blood, the larva, the eggs will slip off. And with the heat of the scenario, a larva will already be hatch and dig into the skin. Worst part is, if a mosquito bites you and I, you know, I see bot flies, you should definitely leave it. And there's bot flies. There's not just going to be one single bot fly. There's going to be a bunch of them. And, and they're going to leave a little hole where they are. So cover them in, in any in liquid. Any liquid. That doesn't hurt you or infect you. Because you know that can't be good. And eventually the bot fly will come out and um, try to get out. I should try to breathe. Grabs, grab, gets squeezed, grab it, pull it out. Which is why it's so hard to pull out a bot fly is due to the black things. Around the larva's head, there's black holes. Those are actually spikes, and they stab themselves in your flesh. And once you, and you'll need to pull them out, and then pull not it, them out. Pull the bot fly out. That's gonna be hard, but it's not unsuccessful. Bot fly takes first, between the kill whale is second. Next up, a venomous snake. Rattlesnakes are one very venomous snake. They, at the maximum, they can get around six feet. Actually, four. They're as long as I'm tall. Three, actually. These predators are one of the apex predators of their entire ecosystem. And almost nothing can body it except large birds. They're only found in Mexico and Texas, but can be found in California. These apex predators are very dangerous. Rattlesnakes get their name from the rattle. And fun fact, rattlesnakes actually don't have little beads in them, like an onraka. The reason why the rattlesnake makes that noise, well, that 
said how it does. It's when it shakes its tail. There's like a bunch of shed from his tail that build up. And it's all hollow. So when it vibrate, all the house snake needs to do is vibrate its tail. And you'll hear that then. A um, common myth is that alcohol would eat, would be easily easily able to free you from it. Drink a bunch of alcohol, you'll be good. That will just spell your demise faster. That's a myth. Another myth. You should suck the butt bite out. Well, first of all, it might be very hard to. So, come on, if you do, you're just endangering yourself or the person that's sucking. And you both die. Many animals, when they're mammals, when they're banned by rattlesnakes, go lean their head like they're drunk. <laughs> that probably earns them a place in R72. The rattlesnake can't knock off the highly dangerous bot fly. It makes second, pushing and kill well third. Next up, one of the most dangerous animals. If you're an insect. <laughs> At maximum length, animals, giant desert centipedes are only like around a foot. That's smart. Uh, this one's very scaringly drinking water. <sighs> no, I'm joking. These predators are usually able to one shot you if you're a mouse. I'm not lying. For mobile. The desert centipede is the largest animal, well, actually, centipede in North America. It's actually the second largest centipede, right, right after the Asian giant centipede. These apex predators of their area beat, beat on almost anything, including trapdoor spiders. They break into trapdoor spiders' nest like it's their own home, tear in and gobble up them poor trapdoor spiders. These predators are easily able to kill a human in one click bite if you are tiny. The venom is dangerous though. It's painful. If you you wouldn't need a high amount of venom, high dose dose of venom to really like for you to really go Oh no. And then you would probably die. Desert, giant desert centipedes can be dangerous, but are extremely rare. And most of the time, it's not worse than a bee sting. Bees are in the finals. These printers are easily able to kill a human. And they can try but fail. They are able to kill, but most of the time, bites are non-fatal, but are extremely painful. These predators are easily able to kill a human. D. No match for this lineup. Our crawling insect only comes in at four. Next up, Dra Dracula's evil counterpart. Vampire bread. Bread? Vampire breads? <laughs> I don't know why, I just said vampire breads. Vampire bats, um, they're particularly small. Oh, one more horrifying fact. These centipedes sometimes go climb on the ceiling of caves, lift themselves up, and grab bats flying midair. Yeah, and a species of snake in somewhere actually does that. Mexico, Mexico a species of snake does that too. These venomous, these dangerous animals are known to kill humans sometimes. 
Vampire bats are dangerous animals. They could kill a human. Oh boy, can they? Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, come inside, you're gonna die. <laughs> that type. They only get around two inches in length. And they're like in pounds. Not even one pound, like maybe half a pound. Very light animals. These, ape, these animals feed on almost anything. And are found in Central America. We're actually starting to get closer to humans. One reason why vampire bats are dangerous is due to... It's not due to that they suck venom. I mean, they suck blood and drink so much out of you that you become a skeleton. It's the rabies and many other bat diseases that they carry. These predators are usually known to kill humans. But many deaths are rare. These beasts are still extremely dangerous, though. And I highly would have recommend you going up to one and saying, Hi, Mr. Vampire Bite. Can you please take me to God? They mostly hunt animals that are in sleeping. So they wouldn't really hunt you down. And, by the way, if you, they try. They're extremely fast. And some bat species, but not including them, actually can swim. These predators are known to kill humans in only mere minutes. Like hours. Rabies and other diseases is what earns this beast in our entire 72. The vampire bat is extremely dangerous. Almost nothing. There's almost nothing you can do against a vampire bat. The vampire bat takes first in our lineup. Additionally, additionally bot fly. Additionally, bot flies. Ballflies, rattlesnakes, killer whales, and desert centipedes. Don't kill that many people you shoot. But these guys are one of the most dangerous animals. Next up in our lineup, the last animal in our entire 72. 72, who are you? Oh, it's... It's one of North America's largest carniv car predator carnivorous fish. Alligator guards can get at the maximum like eighteen the maximum ten feet in length. They get get to one hundred and fifty to two hundred pounds at, at the maximum weight. Alligator guards are one of the apex predators of where they live. River Monster sh truly shows how large alligator guards can really get. Alligator guards are one of the apex predators on where they live. There's almost nothing you could do to try and escape an alligator guard. But th there has been no reported fatal deaths to ever been well known. Alligator guards hunt, do hunt animals or like getting close to our size, they can. They will. Hunt, they hunt mammals. They hunt fish, but also mammals that are unfortunate enough to fall into the river. Once these predators see their prey, they'll stab it. They'll hunt similar to spinosaurus and use their teeth for tearing, not chewing. They'll bite down. They'll bite down on their prey, hold it, wait for it to stop struggling, and then they're slow. They're usually slow, especially the larger ones, which are really slow. But it doesn't matter if you're a human or a whole fish. These predators can be extremely dangerous and large. This formidable predator is dangerous, but how does it fare in this lineup? It's no match compared to the 
It's not going to take first. Vampire bats are much more dangerous. And, and are more widespread and actually kill people. It can't take second, third, or fourth, too. Can't take any of those. Because bot flies, <clears throat> growl sinks, and kill whales are much more close and aggressive. Humans kill time and aggressive. This predator has to make fifth. Pushing our centipede down to last. That leaves the killer way out four, rattlesnake three, bot fly second, and our finalist, the vampire bat. Next episode in R72, our eight finalists. The American alligator, the <clears throat> our eight, our, <clears throat> our 11, our 12 finalists. Not eight. Our twelve finalists come to face off. The American alligator, the grizzly bear, the American crocodile, the, the moose, the assassin bug, the the cottonmouth. <clears throat> yeah, I just forgot about cottonmouth being in the final. So yeah, sue me. I should wait. No, don't. Don't get. It. The mosquito, the anaconda, the the bull, the bison, excuse me, the poison dart, the killer bee, the poison dart frog, and this predator, and the vampire bat. All 12 finalists are about to face off on October 20th. See you then. Oct no, not October 20th. October 15th is when these 11 beasts finally face off.